as it came off the turn. They're coming up on the Ed Barrier car who ran so good for so long but involved in that big crash up in turn four. Now, Presley goes a little wide. Here comes Jeff Burton down on the inside. Jeff Burton makes the challenge and one car will fit in the groove. They come together in turn three. Presley spins. No, he hangs on. Here is Dale Jarrett trying to pass Presley for second spot. Presley back in the throttle and Jarrett on the outside. The battle now for second spot. Jarrett the 32, Presley the 59. That in turns one and two. Oh, boy. It almost had to happen the way Preston's car was beginning to slip. Now they're coming up on the car number 33. Jarrett's going to try to pin Presley down behind that car, but Presley beat him off of the turn. It doesn't get any better than this. Book Series racing action at its best. It'll be 10 laps to go next time. Bye, there is Robert Presley. Car number 31, a broken panard bar. Part of the chassis there, broken in the big Bob of car. You see that right rear. How that rear end is moving around in the car. Let's take a look again at what happened up in turn three. Well, Jeff Burton got up beside of Presley, and car number eight, Bobby Hamilton, has fun, but you can see the car number 12 go on the inside. Of, uh, the car number 59 gets him sideways, but Presley gets it straightened out, and then Jerry pulls up on the outside. So there's things happening all over the racetrack, Jerry, and caution is out again. Oh, they cannot believe it in the pits. They did not want to see a yellow flag. Caution for the 11th time today by virtue of the spin of his turn four from Bobby Hamilton. Now, oh, they just cannot believe that is the people, that those are the folks down in the Jeff Burton pits. The young lady in the crew there of the Armor Meets Buick, the Sam Ard owned car. And this youngster from just 75 miles away in South Boston, Virginia, started out lying down in the go-kart just about five or six years ago, made his way to late model stock car ranks, now leading and having a shot just eight laps away from the biggest win of this youngster's career. We're under caution here at Martinsville Speedway and Benny Parsons, they have to be holding their breath in the pits. Kim, are you excited or what? Slightly, <laughs> very much so. Jeff has wanted to do this all of his life and it's the dream and I am just so glad it's finally coming true. Well, wait, he hasn't won yet. But we lead, we're leading the race. I mean, it's just such a rough year, and just to do this, oh, God, we can hang on for seven more laps. Well, let's hope you can, Kim. Thank you. That's what it's all about right there, the excitement, tears of joy, and as Benny said, it's, he gives her a big hug, and she's trying to control her emotions. What will happen these last six or seven laps? Can Jeff Burton hang on? Will we see more tears in victory lane? Don't go away. We'll find out when we come back. Back at Martinsville Speedway, getting set for what'll be the green flag and the run for the checkered flag. 11 caution flags today, but just seven laps to go. It'll be six to go when he takes the green flag this time by. Jeff Burton up front and Robert Presley in the car number 59 who's led the majority of this race cannot be a happy camper back there. He and Burton came together this laps ago. He lost the lead, getting ready for the green flag. And remember, that Presley car gets a great jump on the restart, but now Burton has pulled away. Down in turn one. Well, let's see how Presley feels about that situation they got into up there. Of course, he's got to catch him first. You know, Sam Ard said he thought that if he got by that they could pull away, and right now he has pulled away a little bit. Presley driving hard, trying to get back up there to him. Five to go. This time by, they come whipping out of turn four at 115 miles an hour and jam on those brakes out of turn one at 60 miles an hour. Coming out of turn two, Jeff Burton, 23 years of age, trying to hold on and pick up the win in the Xerox 150. Ned, I believe you're right. He has pulled away some three car lengths. I think Burton knows that if, his, if Presley will catch him, he might see a little more contact. Well, you might just do it because Presley led this race for so long and then just couldn't uh, couldn't quite uh, hold on long enough. Jeff Burton's best finish of the year, a second place finish on the short track at South Boston, his home racetrack. He has never won in Bush Series competition. He is the subject of a number of rumors about possibly going to some different racing teams for 1991, but he's got to be happy where he is right now. Laps winding down. You saw three to go. Well, this certainly won't uh, hurt his calls, Jerry, as he tries to sell himself to another team, or if that's what he's, he's going to do. And winning here today would, would be a, a great uh, thing to have in his resume. 
two laps to go and the battle now heating up back there between Dale Jarrett and Robert Presley for a second spot. There is Presley and Jarrett expecting to see the white flag for Jeff Burton. Well, the folks in Omaha, Nebraska, the Armor Meat Company sponsoring that young man have got to be excited as they really mix it up for second place. White flag waving final lap for Jeff Burton, 23 years of age from South Boston, Virginia. And there is Kim Brown, his girlfriend. You heard moments ago, she was in tears and they are waiting waiting for this final 100-yard dash to the checkered flag, and he and holds Robert, on. Robert Presley went very high. Dale Jarrett ran into the back of him, but here's Jeff Burton winning the race. A race for second? Well, I believe uh, Presley won. And it's jubilation in the pits, and the armor meat pits in the back straightaway. Sam Ard, car owner and crew chief, and that young man, Jeff Burton, and he is excited to be happier while he's waving that crew, and the fans here in the front stretch are excited too. Let's check in with Benny. Cameron, he did it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew he could do it! Can I go over there? I gotta give him a big kiss! Is this the most exciting day of your life? The ultimate! The ultimate! Well, okay, I'll see you over there. Thank you! And she's not happy one bit. No siree. And I guarantee you they're going to mob that young man in just a moment in victory lane. Jeff Burning winning. We'll hear from him when we come back after this. Point in the race, Ned Jarrett, battle for the lead. And Robert Presley got a little loose off of two, and Jeff Burton ran up on the inside going into turn three, and they touched. Presley goes sideways, but he doesn't lose it completely. He hangs on to second place. Now, you've seen some fast cars, and I take a look at this. Kimberly Brown, the outdoor hurdle. That is the girlfriend of Jeff Burton trying to get to victory lane. She's up, up, and over the wall on her way to the car. She is trying to get there to get to Jeff Burton. She can't get through. She says, let me through. Let me through, guys. Let me through. Well, let's go down where Benny Parsons is there. Thank you, Jerry. Jeff Burton, congratulations on a great victory. Thank you. You know, we struggled so hard with this team, and they've worked their butt off, and the armor and food line came along, and Buick's been so much help. Man, you just, it's just, just like old shoulder, you know, weight lifted off my shoulder. I can't even describe it. You're not happy a bit. Uh, not at all, not at all. You should have seen Kim down in the pits. Yeah, I would imagine. You should have seen me in there. What does it feel like those last two or three laps when it looked like Victor was there? Did you hear all kind of noises that you talk about? We lost first and second gear. You know, with, hey, we had three restarts without first and second. That last restart came out. I got a radio and I said, guys, we just hadn't had any luck at all. But luckily we got off to a good start and Robert drove me clean. And, you know, I just can't say thank you enough. Everybody supported me for as long as they have. You know, it's, without all them, I wouldn't be here. Well, Jeff, get over there with Sam, Kim, and the rest of your crew and celebrate. They are indeed celebrating in the Sears Road Handler Winner's Circle there. Jeff Burton, his first career win. And Ned, some great runs from other young drivers. Yes, uh, Bobby Moon in particular coming home in fourth place, and we see a lot of other drivers that came up through the pack. Very impressive for that. Time. Our point leader, Chuck Bound, now he finished back in 17th spot. There is Bound in the car number 63. Where are the point standings? Well, he has lost 34 points to Jimmy Hensley. Hensley, who finished in seventh spot. Grissom is third. Bobby Labonte and Kenny Wallace rounding out the top 